Hey everybody, welcome to the Greasy Fork by Patronomicon Productions. My name is Patrick. Today we are going to be doing stuffed pork loin chops with a creamy mushroom sauce. Okay, so we're going to start on the sauce. Now, first thing I recommend, set your burner on the lowest setting. If you have this too hot, and you try to cook this too quickly, you will burn it. We have our whipped cream cheese. This has been heated up in the microwave for about a minute to soften it and make it easier to come out of the container and to make it melt down quicker. We have a cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay. And we're also going to add a cup of half and half. Okay. Now the half and half is going to add a few carbs to it. Now, next thing, we have half a stick of melted butter. Now, this is real salted butter. I do not use margarine. One teaspoon of garlic salt. I do prefer fresh herbs, but honestly, it's a lot of headache. I may set up an herb garden in here at some point, but for now, I'm perfectly content with this. So we're going to go with about a, te a teaspoon of parsley, maybe a tablespoon of garlic. You will find, if you watch my show, I use garlic in just about everything. But the only thing I don't put garlic in is cereal and ice cream. Alright, so basically what you want to do is leave this on the lowest heat setting. And you're going to come back and check on this about every 10 minutes. 10 minutes, whisk it. 10 minutes, whisk it. 10 minutes, whisk it. And then we'll come back to it. We'll add the mushrooms in there. And then we'll be able to set it aside to go on the pork chops. So it started to melt down a little bit. Whisk that up. And break it up some. Again, don't get in the rush with this. It's probably going to take a total of 30 to 40 minutes to get it to the consistency that you want. And we'll come back and check on it in 10 minutes. Probably about two more rotations. 10 minutes whisk, 10 minutes whisk. That bad boy will be ready. That looks so good. That is just about ready. Ten more minutes, whisk it one more time. That's perfect. That is perfect. Can't help myself. I gotta taste it. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. That is wonderful. Okay, so now we have our mushrooms here. This is four of these little six and a half ounce cans of mushrooms. Now, yes, I could use fresh mushrooms if I wanted to, but I'm looking at a cost and time thing here. Okay, so if I went with fresh mushrooms, first off, I'd have to get four little containers of mushrooms about like this in order to get this much yield. That's going to cost you twice as much. Two, you're going to have to wash them, and then you'll have to either boil them or saute them. That's going to add about 15 to 20 minutes to your cooking time. So if you want to save a few bucks and uh, time, Go with the canned mushrooms. They're good. I use them all the time. They're cheap. All right. So we're going to chuck these bad boys in here. All right. Now, even though cream cheese has melted down and the sauce has mixed together, this is only lukewarm. It is not hot. But that's what you want. You don't want it to get super hot because it will burn. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take these chops. Now this is not an optical illusion. These are about two inches thick. I did that for a reason. You'll see that in a few minutes. But we're going to take the chops and we are going to sear them in olive oil. And we are going to drop these into the oil and move them to the center of the... Now we're not trying to cook these. 
We're just trying to sear the outside so it'll seal in the flavor and juice. Okay. See that the mouth. What you're looking for is a very, very light sear. Move it around the oil a little bit. Okay. Yep. Yep. You want to do the sides well. Like so. Flip it over. So, what you want to do, set those aside, and let them cool about 10 minutes, because we're going to handle these again, and um, so that we can butterfly them. The chops are going to be stuffed with a seasoned spinach, or spinach and It's frozen spinach is going to have a little bit too much water in it, so what we're going to do so we're just going to kind of pull up into a ball here and kind of just squeeze a little bit of the water out and pour it out. Okay, there we go, that should work. So this is pretty simple. We are going to add two tablespoons garlic okay. and a pouch of onion soup mix. So now, just in case you're not aware of this, onion soup mix is going to be mostly sodium. You're not going to need to use any other salt in this recipe. Plenty of salt in the sauce, plenty of salt in the spinach. We want to let the spinach sit for about 10 minutes so that the onions in the onion soup mix will soak up some of the water. We're going to take our fillet knife here and we are going to butterfly our chops. So you just want to cut right down the center like so. Be we heat our air fryer to 450 degrees. So we are going to wrap these chops in bacon. So I went ahead and switched off our air fryer. These are done. So the total, total cook time in there is about 30 minutes. Go ahead and throw these out. Okay, so I've transferred the sauce into the bowl. Now you'll note this looks like a lot less than what it was in the pot. The reason for that is 
You only need about two cups of sauce for this recipe. The rest of that sauce I have packed up into a container and put in the freezer to save to go with our um, next recipe, which is going to be a seafood bisque. This looks incredible. Just kind of pour sauce over this. So this will yield two meals for me. Take cut a chunk from the end. A little bit of the bacon. I'm gonna get some of the spinach out of here too. So a little spinach, a little bit of mushroom. Yeah, I know that's not good manners using your fingers, but I don't care. Bacon, pork chop. Let's see how this turned out. Oh my lord. Oh wow. Dude, I have died and gone to heaven. That is incredible. That is so awesome. That's got to be one of the best recipes I've ever made. The chop is tender, it's juicy. There is so much flavor here. There's a huge mixture of flavors, and it blends so well. Alrighty, thank you everybody for tuning in to the Greasy Fork by Patronomicon Productions. My name is Patrick. We'll see everybody next week where we will be making a seafood bisque. Have a great day. The Greasy Fork by Patronomicon Productions. Thank you. Three, two, one. Okay, thank you very much. Nope, 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 can't even. <laughs> that will not go into the outtakes.